Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so guys, today I want to go to Daiso. If you guys don't know what Daiso is, Daiso is a very popular Japanese dollar store. And it literally has everything there. So guys, it's been a while. It's been around 8 months since I last went to Daiso. And I really want to go to Daiso today because it's the spooky season. Halloween is coming up and Daiso always have all these really interesting spooky items that I want to show you guys. They always have these like legit costumes. And it's a dollar store! I check them out every year, and here are some of the costumes that I've tried before. Uh. For a dollar store, I think it's quite impressive. So today, I want to check out all those new items. And on top of that, I want to do a small challenge. I want to try making some Halloween costumes using only Daiso items. It really depends on what they have, so I currently have no idea what I'm going to make. But hopefully it's going to turn out to be something. Anyways, I think we're ready. Let's just jump right in. No budget Daiso haul and dollar store Halloween costume challenge. Let's get started. So as you can see, there's so many Halloween items. I haven't seen them at all, so let's see what they have. Halloween party. <laughs> A wall sticker! Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Maybe this. So here's some costumes, but I think they have more. Look at all these items! Oh my gosh! So here's some horns. That's cute! Like a devil's horn. Ooh, cat hairpin! I like the hairpins better. Maybe this. <laughs> like a cat tail. That's kind of smart. <laughs> And some masks. Oh look, it's a broom. We also have all these costumes. Oh look. So these are for kids. I think this is for like 10 years old or something. And apparently they have blue, but I don't see any blue. Ooh, they have a bunny one too. I wonder if I could wear any of these. I want to get one to see how big it is. But I don't fit in it though. <laughs> Let's see. So here's some for adults. Here's the maid right here. Let's get one of this. I thought they had more. Like, I'm sure they had more last year, but this is all I see right now. Maybe they're all sold out. But still, that's a lot of costumes for a dollar store. Ooh, and they also have some, like, Christmas decorations. Oh, that's so cute. Like, you can make your own ornaments. They have so many Christmas stuff, but I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to feel like Christmas just yet. I want to feel like Halloween first. So maybe I could come back during like December because there's so many stuff. So yeah, let's come back. Some makeup stuff. This brush cleaner is so cute. I could definitely use this. Maybe to wash my art brushes. Some lotions and stuff. But I don't really buy the makeup products that I use on my skin at Daiso. I'm sure they're good, but let's move on. Oh my gosh. They have LED lights for $3? That's insane! I'm gonna get one of this. Maybe one of this. Maybe two of this. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited! It's been a while. Some more hair accessories. Maybe I can make something using this. These are all so cute! Little pouches. This one's really nice. Hmm, maybe I could come back. Ooh, poster frame. I didn't know that they had poster frames here. And it's only $3. Wow. Oh, look, a cork board. Literally, Daiso has everything. We have a Coke here. Some Coca-Cola stuff. Oh, there's so many Coca-Cola stuff. I wonder if they're having like a collab or something. Aww. Wow, it's so fluffy! Let's see what they have here. Some like laundry stuff. Ooh, storage! I could use some storage. Ooh, some boxes. I gotta think, what can I use this for? I think I could definitely use this. And it's so cute! It's Toy Story! I can't resist. Ooh, tissues. <laughs> I need tissue. So 
So this is like the kitchen section, but I don't think I need anything from here. So I want to go to the crafty section, my favorite part. And I want to see if I could like buy some stuff and like DIY some Halloween costume. Let's see what I could make. And this is the crafty section. So they also have like resin. Oh look, resin pellets. Definitely need these. Some needle felting stuff. Maybe this. Mm, this. Oh, they have rhinestones for a dollar. I'm impressed. Wow. Look at these. It's so pretty. Let me get this one. <laughs> I want to get a few to see how well they work. <laughs> Some felt. I think I could definitely make something with these. Some black felt. This is a really nice sized felt. <gasps> they only have one. I need two. I want gray. Oh wait, they have someone like... I think I found the one that I want. But it's like all the way back here. These. I really wanted these like gray ones. Perfect. Moving on. What else do I need? Maybe some of this with some needles. Oh, this is cute. Look at this felt. It has glitter inside. It's a glitterly felt. Maybe one of this. They have new dolls. Oh, these are really cute. One dollar dolls. I feel like I could make something with these. Oh wait, this is great. Oh my gosh. Some dolls. Rawr. So here's like the toy section, some Disney stuff, some magic tricks. Interesting. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I love the cheeks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, so I was looking for some clothes and they apparently have some like t-shirts. I think I could use this. I really wished they had like white t-shirt so I could make something with it. But I think this is all they have. This is kind of interesting. Let's see what I can do with this. They have like hats. Let's see what I can make with this. Look! It's a sailor costume for dogs. Your dog could dress up for Halloween. That's nice. Ooh, I just came up with something. I want to make something using these. And... What else do I need? <laughs> Maybe some ribbons? By the way, they also have some manga stuff if you guys are interested. Ooh, maybe one of this. I definitely need some brush. But I need a lot. Okay. Maybe like a palette and acrylics. Which one should I get? Okay, so... I need this. Guys, it's not gonna fit. I need a new basket. What else could I make? Hmm, these are nice. But the problem is, I can't hold it anymore. And I'm back here. <laughs> I keep on thinking of all these like new ideas. And there's so many things I want to try making now, so... I wonder how many I'm going to be able to make. Let's see. I wonder if they have any glitters. I think they have some in the makeup section. Let's see. Found some. So it was in the nail section. Okay, I'm happy. And guys, I think I'm done. <laughs> Let's go back home to see what I can make. Ta-da! And I'm back. It was around a little bit over $100. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, by the way, it was raining outside, so some of this stuff's kind of wet. But please don't mind. So, let's see what I got. 
First off, I got a lot of felt. I got some white felt, red, blue, and black. These are all $1. I mean, I know it's a dollar store, but some items are not a dollar. But these are all $1. And I mean, for a dollar, each felt is really, really big. And I'm quite impressed. So a lot of felt. I also got some costume. Here's a maid outfit. And here's the bunny outfit. By the way, this is for kids, so I don't think this is gonna fit me, but I just wanted to try it out. I also got some devil horns and a cat tail with a bell. It's so cute. Let's keep on going because we have a lot of stuff. A UV light for $3. I have to go to Daiso a lot more often. A brush cleaner. Ooh, some small accessories. Some like hairpins and stuff. Just like, you know, random stuff. Some palettes. Ooh, some diamonds. Wow, I never knew they had rhinestones. Such a great find. Tissue paper because I have allergies. <laughs> I've got some paint here, but I think I got more. So I think it's in my other bag. So some acrylic paints, ribbons, a head band, more palettes, and this storage box, which I think is so useful. Let's open one up. So it goes like this, and like this. Oh, it's actually pretty big. I mean, it's a really nice box. And how much was it? So it was $3. I think this is great. I needed more storage. As you can see, I have so many stuff. So Toy Story storage. And lastly, I got some wall stickers. Perfect for Halloween. Let me put this inside right here. And onto the second bag. Let's see. Ooh. So here, I have this white hat. Hmm. Perfect. Ooh, I've got some more costumes. Like this cute tutu. Ooh, I've got some more felt. Oh yes, this felt has glitter inside. Which I think is so unique. Um, I've got some more felt. But it's for needle felting. Glue gun. Some more felt. Some brushes. Yeah, there's a lot of small items. I also got a lot of glass paint. I wonder if some people could like guess what I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna be using all these glass paint. If I could. I hope it works. I don't know, but I'm gonna try my best. Some glitter, palette, a t-shirt. But if they had like a white t-shirt, I think there were like more stuff that I was able to do. But yeah, this is the only t-shirt that they had. Oh yes, I got some little dolls. I kind of want to like repaint it and make them into something else. So yeah, this isn't for this video, but for like a different video. More brush, more paint, more paper, more felt, more glitters. Uh-huh. So I found this like clip thingy, which I think is really cute and very useful. So yeah, let's see how this is gonna turn out. It's my first time using this along with a lot of other stuff. Hopefully all my ideas gonna turn out okay. I also got a mask, more acrylic paint, more like decorations and stuff. And guys, I think that's it. Again, it cost me around like a hundred dollars. So I'm guessing there's around like 80 items. I mean some. For example, they cost like $3. Made outfit cost me $6. So I'm guessing like roughly around like 80 items. Which is still insane. Anyways, what can I do with all these items? Hmm. So I have a few ideas in mind, so hopefully they work. So yeah, let's just get started. Starting from this cap. Okay, let me clean this all up. Okay, so first off, I'm going to paint this hat. Can you guys guess what I'm going to make? So I'm going to be using some blue paint, yellow, white. So first off, I'm going to try making a Donald Duck costume. I don't know, it kind of popped into my head the moment I saw this. Let's start with the eyes. A little bit of blue and some white and mix. A little bit of yellow, more white and mix. Did I put in a little bit too much yellow? No, I think it's perfect. Yes. And you know what guys, I think I'm just gonna go in. I'm kind of nervous, but here we go. So something like this and the other side. Do they look symmetrical? Hopefully. And I'm just gonna fill it all in. And some yellow for the beak. Just painting it all on. I'm actually going to add a little bit of fabric softener because apparently that helps with the paint. Because this is just acrylic paint and it's just gonna turn out really hard and crispy. The only thing is, the fabric softener has a pretty strong smell. It's not a bad smell, but it's really, really strong. So I try to avoid it as much as possible, but I think this is going to help a lot. And I'm just going to spread it on. And it looks something like this. Not bad. So while I wait for it to dry, 
I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to try making the hat using these felt. So Daiso has a lot of variety of felt. So they have like really, really big ones, thin ones. And this is a really thick felt. So it's like really, really thick and really, really strong. They didn't have black, so I'm just gonna use brown. Oh, I can't forget my glue gun. Again, I got this from Daiso. Daiso literally has everything. And I'm just gonna cut it into shape. Hmm, that's a little bit too big. It's better to start big than small. Still a little bit too big. By the way guys, it's a lot smarter to draw the rough draft first. I'm just going right in. I'm gonna cut out this tick and it looks something like this. I'm just gonna use glue gun to glue it on. My hand's all yellow. It's from the paint, don't worry. And there we have a hat. A hat on a hat. Again, I'm just gonna glue this on later. And let's just finish the face. I really wish they had like a normal white cap because this one is like all mesh and stuff. But yeah, what do you guys think? So let's put this aside for it to dry. And next up, I want to make like a cape for Donald Duck. I can't make like a whole bodysuit, but let's see what I can make. Look at how big this fabric is. For I mean a dollar, I think it's great. I'm gonna fold it into half and make like a hole right in the center. Here's a circle and cut along the edge. So I have no clue, so I'm just gonna like put it on my body and just like make it as I go. So it currently looks something like this. I literally have no clue right now. Should make it like, cut it like around like here, here. <laughs> this is hard. Okay, I can kind of see it. Can you? <laughs> here, I've got some gold ribbon. Let's see how long it is. I'm just gonna use glue gun to glue it down. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, let me try it on. And lastly, but not least, I'm going to make the ribbon using this felt. And all you need to do is like scrunch it up like so. I mean, it's really big, but I think it looks really cute. The bigger it is, it looks more like a costume. So now again, I'm going to use some glue gun, make like a line right in the center, and I'm just going to like scrunch it up. Lastly, I'm going to get a piece of red felt again and just like tie it around. And there we have a bow. I think I'm just gonna use safety pin to pin it on. And back to the hat. And I'm just gonna glue it on right here. I'm going to put a lot of glue and press it down. And here we have Donald Duck. So here's a special clip I wanna show you guys. I've done some dollar store costume challenges before, but on my other channel. If you guys know me, I have two main channels and like two smaller channels that you can forget about, but I have two main channels, this and my Japanese channel. I've been uploading on my other channel for like nine years and I've made a lot of videos that I'm actually impressed myself. I just think that it's such a waste that most of those videos are never going to get seen again. So I've decided to add some of my old videos here and there with English translation so my past work could get more recognition. So first off, I'm making a Jessie costume from Toy Story. I got all of these from Daiso as well, but I've got a straw hat and covered it with the big red felt to make it look like a cowboy hat. And added some white yarn all around the rim like so. Next, I got a bunch of red yarn, tied it up and braided to make the hair. And onto the shirt. This shirt, which I also got from Daiso, it actually cost like $7. I think it's one of the priciest items at Daiso. I think. Then I got some acrylic paint and painted the top part all yellow just like Jessie. I added some buttons and extra decorations like the sleeves to make it even more realistic. For the bottom half, I decided to just use some white felt. I cut it up so it fits my legs and used acrylic paint again to paint on the cow prints. I then added some ribbon on top so I can wrap it around my thighs. You'll see how it's supposed to look like. And lastly, I made this gold circle thing for the belt, and I think that's it for Jessie. In the same video, I made another costume, and this one is a lot more simple. Next, I decided to make Dumbo. I kind of cheated. I got that t-shirt from Amazon for like $5. 
I'm like explaining it in the video, but I just really needed that shirt and I wanted to get a pass because it's like even cheaper than the Jesse shirt, which was $7 at Daiso. And then I'm just using the red felt again to make a cape. Like seriously, there's so many ways to use this felt. And the ears. I messed up a little bit on this part. I wanted to stick this like pink sheet on top, but it got all crumpled and stuff. But I tried my best to fix it in the video. At the end, I think it turned out okay. And after everything, this is how it ended up looking. For a dollar store challenge, I think it turned out not too bad. Like, I actually really like the costume. What do you guys think? Okay, I want to make one more costume. And I found this plastic sheet at Daiso. I used this to cover myself from the rain. So it's kind of wet. It's literally pouring today. And it looks something like this. Can you see it? Because I know it's like all white and transparent. But it looks something like this. And I thought it would be really fun to turn this into a pair of wings. Like, you know, kind of like Tinkerbell. So something like, like this. So I bought two of these sheets and now I'm just gonna outline this. And I'm just gonna cut along the lines. I think I'm just gonna listen to music because I think it's gonna take a while. And I'm just gonna clean off the lines. It's so transparent. But can you see the wings? Kind of. So it turned out something like this. And now it's time to decorate. I'm so sorry it's so hard to see. But I'm just gonna use some glass paint and make some designs on the wing. So obviously I can't make it exactly the same, but I'm gonna try my best. So one side down, time to do the other side. And this is when I noticed I should have started from this side. <laughs> Cause I'm right handed. I should have gone from here to here, but I think I could still do it. So let's go. Okay, I mean, it's not perfect, but nothing's ever perfect. And lastly, on top of this, I'm going to sprinkle some glitter. I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over, just like all over. And I'm just gonna leave it aside for it to completely dry. And it's gonna take a while. See you guys soon. And the reveal, here we go. Three, two, one. Ta-da! And it looks something like this. What do you guys think? By the way, this is the t-shirt that I got from Daiso. So yeah, everything is literally Daiso. I actually really like the hat. I think I could wear this to Disneyland. Like, I'm not embarrassed. And I think this little thing completes the look. So this is my first costume. Next up, the fairy costume. Ta-da! So this was for kids, but it actually fits me like, okay. I mean, for $3, I think it's kind of cute. And the wings turned out something like this. Ooh, so glittery. I think it turned out quite cute. So this whole costume cost me like 5 to $6. If I really want to, I think I would just like glue this on. I could also use like a Velcro tape and tape it on the back. I mean, I probably wouldn't wear this for Halloween. I mean, <laughs> but for 5 to $6, I would say it's a win. Let me try one more costume. And this is the maid costume. I mean, it's not the best quality ever, but it's from Daiso. So yeah, I think that's all the costumes for today. Please tell me which one was your favorite in the comment section. Are you guys hyped for Halloween? <laughs> so guys, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!